What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. We're back at it with another banger. Probably gonna be one of my favorite videos. Don't get me wrong. All my other videos are my favorite. I like recording, but this one, the reason why is because we're installing another mod to the car. Now, for a while, everybody's been like, pause, big pause on this. Fisting my car. Just because it's a monster truck, it's not lower. So there's a big gap between the tire and the fender. And today we're gonna be installing the new lowering springs i went with lowering springs just because i didn't really want to drop like a thousand dollars on coilovers and i just wanted something quick you know at the end of the day i don't want it that low i just want comfort performance and uh, something that handles really good ended up going with the sr performance sport i hear a lot of good things about it now they have two types they have the sr performance and the sr performance sports i was looking at the reviews for the sr performance a lot of people were like oh i wish it would have been lowered because it doesn't really drop much sr performance sport on the other hand it drops 1.3 inch in the front and one inch in the back i was like doing my research looking around and apparently an inch is actually a lot to lower the car ended up getting the camber bolt as well just so you could align the front wheel better but i'm gonna show you guys the stock height of the car and then i'm gonna show you guys how low it looks with the lowering spring it says that it's good with potholes the comforter doesn't go away so your car still rides amazing uh when you want to hit turns you step on it the performance kicks in like that so let me show you guys what it looks like Guys, here are the camber bolts for the front, and then here are the springs. They're actually coated so they don't rust. So it's an inch and a half, so it's gonna be around right here. Lowered, which is really good because it's 255s all around. I still want to fit a 305 in the rear, and then an inch in the rear is gonna be like, not like just up to here. That way, when we put a 305 in the wider tire. The fitment is actually good, but this is actually the stock height. Also added the riding steel. I need to wash my car, God. So dirty. It doesn't look dirty from far because it's bright. But yeah, guys, I am gonna take it to the canyons just to feel the difference between the stock and the SR performance springs on the car. I'm pretty sure it's gonna handle better because it's gonna be lower overall. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We're on the road to a thousand subscribers. If you guys like cars, join the team, guys. Hit that subscribe button. Other than that, we're gonna get them installed and see you guys in a second. Alrighty, guys. So I showed you guys how it looked like without the lowering springs. Now that it has the lowering springs, the gap is different, as you can see. They can't fix my car no more. Everybody was like, "Look, we could fix your car. We could fix your car. You can't fix it now, mother." I mean, it dropped an uh, inch, 1.3 inch in the front so i mean the fitment is good currently it's running 255s all around the rear dropped an inch but still yeah you cannot fist anymore you really have to squeeze your hand in there i mean it's like two inches you know but we are going to put a bigger tire in the back i'm thinking of going 305 40 19s but i feel like we're going to go 305 35 19s and maybe 265s in the front i'm not sure yet but for sure the wheels are going to come on february let me know what kind of wheels you think i should get i'm aiming towards project 6 grs or just getting the gt500 wheels non-carbon fiber though of course january is my birthday so i'm thinking of putting an exhaust on the car on january and renting out uh something nice a nice car just to get some content on there as so we're currently going to go to the canyons right now just to test out the suspension right off the bat handling on the car feels a little different it rides smooth but at the same time you feel more like rough if it makes sense end of the day you never know maybe we'll go coilovers just to get a better fitment but as of right now just to test the water out and get rid of that gap we went with the sr performance all righty guys so we made it to the canyons right off the bat i'm telling you guys like as soon as i got them installed and i drove the car i'm i'm noticing a huge difference it feels more like obviously to the ground duh it got lowered but it feels more like responsive in a way and it's crazy to like ex expect a big difference when you, especially coming from sr performance sports springs it's just cool you know i think we have ivan in the back we're like by malibu i believe i'm not really sure but guys this i, I i've been to this uh this little road before it's pretty cool Yeah, guys this is definitely crazy i feel like it's gonna make a bigger difference with wider wheels 
just because I feel like I'm gonna be able to attack certain uh, corners without spinning out, you know. But I mean, as far as like the turns, I mean, less body roll for sure. I got them because they were at, on sale. I was actually gonna go with different type of springs, but eventually I want to transition to coilovers. I just didn't, I'm scared to lose the smoothness of the of the car, you know? Like I wanted to be smooth, comfortable, which it still is, it's comfortable, it's smooth. Still handles way better than when it was stock though, for sure. And guys, it's not even a big drop. It's actually a 1.3 in the front and one inch in the rear. I feel like the back is, is going to look more flush when uh, we get the 305s, obviously. Yeah, this is nice. Very nice. got to where I wanted to go it's like this little curvy drive you could say it's nice but you just gotta be real careful because uh, it's narrow too
damn bro i didn't even see that stop that's crazy that was crazy ready oh we got the kitty oh wait what Guys, did you see that? He hit that corner crazy. He didn't even stop. The SR Performance Spring Sports, they handle way better than the stock suspension. So if you're looking for like an upgrade, but you don't want to go all out and you don't want a massive drop, but you wanted to drop to get rid of that body roll, SR Performance Sports is an option. Like I said, guys, like it's pretty low. Like if I get a bigger tire, it'll probably like rub. In the front the rear for sure three of fives but i didn't want it like too low i wanted it to just hit sit right because when i had my old mustang my 2015 every time i would hit a corner it would rub and i really don't want to like mess up the fenders on the car you know i don't want to ruin the paint i just want to keep it nice and clean i mean the end of the year is already coming I mean, we're on december so so far what we did is we changed the front splitter kind of like a mach 1 splitter and then we did the wing it has a gt500 mach 1 track pack uh spoiler and then we just did the sr springs january we're for sure gonna make it louder and i want to get rid of these these look hella ugly all right guys so we're back on the road we just did a little like you know a little stop to enjoy the view and um just have fun overall just talk you know that was actually Ivan's first time going down this road, little canyon drive, but you just gotta be real careful because it is a little dangerous, you know. Oh my god, and then we started with a Prius in the front, and we're ending the video with a Prius in the 